Bonjour! Last year I won an embroidery sewing machine and I was dying to test it out. With the move and the boxes it wasn't really the time to test it out but now, now I can. Well there is still plenty of boxes to unbox and a lot of walls to paint but shh don't look there. <laughs> I went to a LARP recently because I am that kind of nerd. And it inspired me to make a fantasy piece that can go with a lot of different looks. I'm going for a corset or a renaissance fair bodice with a lot of organic leaves and designs. Something that can fit an elf or a hobbit. Okay, it's cottage core. <laughs> but that's always cute. Becoming a cute magical creature. Being one with nature. I've never done machine embroidery, I don't know anything about the software. So I think with an organic leaves design, I can get away with some mistakes that will probably happen. I received this machine some time ago. This is the costume award that we won last year at the World Cosplay Service in Japan. As a special prize, Brother Industries Limited presents a Brother sewing machine. Sponsored by Brother. Well, I'm not sponsored by Brother. The contest was, so I received this machine for free. Disclaimer. Here is the machine. It's pretty big. And it's also a sewing machine. I might do a full review about it if you want, but I want to test it out much more before I give an opinion. If Brother wants to sponsor me, uh, uh, you can email me. <laughs> There are some pre-installed embroidery patterns on this machine, but nothing that I want for my project, so I need to learn digitizing. Even though I got the machine for free, what I did buy is a big bundle of embroidery files on Etsy. I can start with some of these to make it faster. If you don't have a software, that's okay, you can use them as it is. Well, those I've seen because there are 300,000 of them. <laughs> I did spend at least one hour just looking through them and I haven't seen maybe 80% of them. <laughs> what is this? Excuse me! I found some little leaves that I liked and I thought something that would go great with the elven vibe that I'm going for is some Art Nouveau designs that just screams elves. Let's just make it... Ah, so with the design ready, let's go to the embroidery machine. First, I'm trying with just a bunch of leaves that I can cut out and add into the embroidery, like a 3D effect, if, if it works. I would say I'm pretty happy with the result, and I can cut those individually. So I finished cutting up all the embroidery and uh, I have put all of them in water to dissolve the backing. Uh, it's not soluble backing. <laughs> I really thought it was, but this is the tearaway one. <laughs> so the back of the leaves will be white. It's okay, I can still do something with volume without showing the back, but... Uh... <laughs> also, some of them turned out really good and some of them were... Mm. It's not too bad from the front, but from the back... <laughs> There was some issue with the tension of the thread and also this is not the correct thread so I don't exactly know where. I can fix this without getting some new thread, which is expensive, but I can hide the back. It also happened a little bit on the big pieces and more on the design that I added myself and that I shrunk on the software. So I guess when you change up the sizes, you have to recheck the stitches to make sure that they are still a functioning length. This is all very new and there uh, are some mistakes, but I'm learning a lot and I think it turned out pretty good, if you just look at the front. So lining, not optional. <laughs> this is all the green lining that I have, so I embroidered on both sides. Because I don't have the design of the top yet, so I thought this would suffice. This has to suffice. I just have this piece that wears the rest from the leaves. Let's just drip something. I'm going for a style that is between an 18th century corset and Ren fair. <laughs> this kind of design goes with everything. Front, back, 
Now let's make a mock-up. The lining will be this uh, cotton that is also what I use on my pants. This should be the mock-up and hopefully it will be the lining if it goes well. Let's hope! Okay, so it's not too bad. I think it kind of looks good with the pants. Let's, uh, let's a look. <laughs> So it's high on my back. I think I'm going to make it a bit higher here and like this. I want this to be a short top and I already have a very short chest. So yes, I think for the bust it's fine. It's just like when I put the strap like this, it goes a bit too much like this, can you see? I'm just going to straighten this and I think it should be good. Maybe I'm going to make the space here a little bit wider so I can have a lot of crisscross um, shepherd, country shepherd renaissance thing. <laughs> and with a slight boning, maybe I can have enough support in the bust. And also the embroidery is going to make the fabric uh, stiffer. Are we good? Yeah, progress. A better way would have been to make the pattern and then the embroidery that goes on it, but... Here, let's just try to make it look nice. So I'm making a rough pattern of the embroidery that I already made and then I adjust that to the pattern to see where it looks good and where it doesn't mess with the placement of the eyelets. I'm hoping to bind it all around so I actually don't need all these seam allowance, just at the part where it connects to the back. fabric to make the, the back in one piece, which would be nice to add a big embroidery here because I've seen some design that would fit perfect here. So I'm simply going to add a seam on the shoulder, like on the back of the shoulder, kind of historical. This machine stops for every color of embroidery thread because there is just one, one spool of thread. And I want it monochromatic, so I should have done this design in only one color. I just made the leaves green, because pretty, but <laughs> you shouldn't do that. It just makes the machine stop every few minutes, so you have to press the button again. Not a big deal. Moments later. All the pieces have been embroidered. This should fit the shoulder piece. I did both of them on the same stabilizer, but I had to make a little some stitches here just to hold the stabilizer in the corner because it wasn't fitting inside the hoop, but it worked. So I can cut the two straps. I have the back and the front is already on the mannequin. I'm thinking about how much embroidery I can add to this, maybe here and there. The back of this one turned out really well, and I don't know why. Also recutting part of the lining that I couldn't keep from the mock-up. There are a ton of possible stitches, so I'm just trying to find which one will be good with this design. The whole thing will be binded with this uh, cotton and I want the limit between the two to be a little nicer, so I'm just trying some stitches. We have leaves like this, we have flowers, kind of, but I don't think it looks very nice. I tried also some stitches that are more satin sti stitches in here, but there is some skipping stitches because this one and this one are not the same height. Anyways, I think this one looks the best because it's it looks a bit hand-stitched and it's kind of flowers. And it's cheaper to make your own bias tape, so... Connecting the lining to the outside layer. 
Yeah, I forgot to add some boning channels to the lining first. I'm adding the bios banding all around this thing, just skipping the places where I need later to add the boning. And let's just try to add some useless decorative stitching that I want to try with this machine. We need to add some structure to this and I can't find the box with boning, so I just add up some zip ties, which is the best cheap option for boning. It will work just fine. New issue. <laughs> This is the front of the bodice. I'm going. I'm going to add some eyelets all around the. Tu mets pas du tout là. Ah yes. Quick note about the cat. A lot of people have been sending me messages saying that this is now my cat, but actually no. You see, this cat already has a home. He is fed. He is loved, and he's been creeping in every house in the neighborhood to ask for pets and food. I actually bought some cat food and was ready to adopt him, testing some TikTok filters on him. But he's a fraud. He's a scammer. Do not trust him. He's just a fluffy, good actor. J'essaie de filmer là. <laughs> so fluffy. I'm going to add some eyelets in the front so I can lace it. But I have my boning channel on the inside and I'm supposed to add the boning. But it's exactly where I'm supposed to add the eyelets. So I have to find a way to put the boning inside, closer to the edge, without doing any visible stitching from the outside. Here. The bias is a bit too wide, so let's just chop a little bit off. And even though I wanted to do everything with the machine, I just ended up closing the binding by hand. Eyelets. So I'm trying to test the possibilities of making eyelets with the machine. I did a lot of different ones on this fabric. So if I want a full one, I have to go over it uh, a few times. I think hand-sewn eyelets are better quality, even if they are a lot more time consuming. So I understand the choice of this. Let's try it on our project. really working because the fabric is slightly moving. This is just two times and the thread is not doing the same circle. I try to adjust the position every time but it's bad, it's bad. I'm just going to make them by hand because it's... Ugh. The piece is almost finished and now we can add the little leaves, it's adding them where it feels right and looks a bit elvish or hobbity. Oh, I think I have some costume pieces that would look kind of good and a bit hobbit core. <laughs> <laughs> 